How you going guys? I've got a bit of a different video today. Um, I was just thinking when I was making that uh, Blu-ray edition of iRobot with the Sunny 1-1 scale bust, I just realised I've got, ever since about 2008, I've been picking up video games and DVDs, Blu-rays, with extra little things attached to them, or sometimes large things attached to them. And so I'm going to go through all them. Uh, I'll start with some video games, so it's sort of this little trend happened around roughly 2008 and so there I have with my Killzone 3 video game there came with a Hellgast helmet and a Hellgast sniper and a book with all the uh, all the artwork that went into it it's pretty cool. I like the game though, it's a pretty good game. Uh, next one I got with Lord of the Rings War in the North. Another pretty good game. Came this awesome troll. Ready to beat the crap out of a poor dwarf. War of the North, there it is. It's a very nice looking troll. And also came with a book with artwork. <clears throat> Another alright game, Avatar, which was probably one of the first 3D games. Worked alright, but came with a, a roughly 7 inch figure of Sully. Doesn't look too bad. Backpack in there looks pretty cool. Avatar program, hard to read. Anyways. Then with my one of my more fun games, Alien vs Predator. Came with a face hugger. Which is fully poseable, bendable. And one of the newest games I got, Max Payne 3, incredibly awesome game. Came with a bullet, Max Payne 3 written on it. Looks similar to probably a 303, but it, the bullet looks exceptionally longer. I don't know if that's to put it off from being looking like a real bullet or if it's a different sort of. I'm thinking it looks very 303 sort of style, but any gun experts out there, let me know. And I mean gun experts, not. Call of Duty players. Alright, getting on to some of the movies. One of the first ones here, Terminator Salvation. I liked it, some people didn't. Too bad for them. It's a giant T850 endoskeleton. Next, an odd little one. Wow, on Blu-ray comes with a little figure of the guy. Coolest little waste allocation load lift to earth droid I've ever seen. And next Hellboy 2 with the lenticular cover on it. Looks pretty tough. Came with a little statue of one of the Golden Army. I've got a few Hellboy guys, I want to get a few more before I do a video of them. Another one, Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Some people didn't like that, doesn't bother me, I liked it. Came with a little crystal skull. It's not that big, sort of, probably roughly about four or five inches long. No, make it about four inches easy. And my most, one of my most recent, I got the full Blu-ray edition with about four different versions of Blade Runner. And that came with a little hover cop car. Also came with a book of artwork, which is pretty cool. And last, but not least, by the long shot. Lord of the Rings and the one true ring. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to 
Bring them all, and in the darkness, bind them. Or you could say it in the dark speak, which would be Ashnag Dubalautulak, Ashnag Gimbatu, Ashnag Draktuluk, Ashpuzamizi Krimbatur. There you go, that's my best dark speak. And there we have my little odd collection of stuff. My next one will be a bit more mainstream, I'm sure. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.